Hi everyone, I am Ravi Gan Sharma. In this video, we will discuss about how to create a form in HTML and what are the different different types of tags used while creating a form in HTML. So let's get started. An HTML form is used to collect the data or information from the user and that data is sent to the server for processing. For example, when you visit a website or web page, you will notice there is a login or register form. In that form, you will enter your login information. That information may be your password, your email address, your name. And that data is sent to the server and server verify your information and you are able to log in into your account. So that's the main use of forms in a web page. Now let's create a form and understand what are forms in HTML practically. Let's import the basic document structure of HTML by using the AMAT abbreviation. So this is the basic document structure of HTML. Change the title of the document that is HTML form. Now let's type a heading that is HTML form tutorial. Now we have to create a form. So form is created inside a form tag. So just type F O R M then hit enter. Here you can see there is a uh, auto suggestion and the auto complete option in the VS code that automatically complete the tag. Okay. Now here is one attribute of the form tag that is action. Action page specify where to send the collected information of the form. When we enter some information in the form, then the data of that form is sent it to server. Let's say we will type uh, server.php. There is a PHP file that will store the data of that particular form. So now let's uh, create the form. So let's type name, name then colon. Then there is a tag in form that is used to take input from the user that is input tag. So type I and P U T then hit enter. Here you can see the input tag does not have any closing tag. So input tag is an empty tag. Okay. This input tag has an attribute that is type. Type specify which type of input is taken from the user. Uh, in that case, the type is text means the input from the user is text. Okay. Uh, if you want to open the result in web browser, just right click and open with live server. Here you can see there is a heading that is HTML form tutorial and there is a text name and here is a box that is taking input from the user. That's type name. Okay, this is the simple input taken from the user in the form of text. Now you can directly visualize the result in the browser. So let's type something else. Let's say email, then type input and hit enter. Then we have to type email in place of text email, then hit enter. Here you can see VS code is suggesting email, then hit enter. So there is an first box that is taking name of the user and second is taking the email of the user. If we want the email in next line, then we can use uh, we can use a BR tag that is used for line break, then hit enter. That is happening because the input tag is a inline tag. Input tag is an inline tag. So the, so the result will not go to the next line automatically. So we have to use a BR tag. Okay, so this is uh, name and the email that is taken input from the user. So let's create another BR tag. Now let's use a password. Just type input then hit enter. Change the type that is password. Okay, uh, let's type in the password. Here you can see when when I type in the password box, the data is not visible to the user. That means this is working correctly. Okay, when I type the name that is visible easily and the email is visible, but the password is not visible because the password is a sensitive data. So these are the three tab uh, text, email and password. Okay, if you want more space between the name, email and password, then we can use another BR tag and hit enter here also BR tag. Okay, if we want to directly jump into the next line uh, from this line and we can use control plus enter. Then we directly jump from current line to the next line. So these are the easy tricks in the VS code. Now let's input the number from the user. So let's type number. 
hit enter number okay here you can see when i move the cursor over the uh, number shell upward and downward arrows that means the number okay you can see the number are increasing and here you can decrease the number so these are the four types of input we have used till now and there are many other input tags that are used in form so let's use that also that br tag br tag then hit enter one another type of input tag in form that is a radio button radio button is uh, used uh, as an example of multiple choice question uh, when we have four option we have to click on one option only so let's try to do that okay radio the type is radio the radio button is used as a multiple choice questions here you can see there is a circle we can click on that like this okay so let's try and type input in the place of text we have to type radio and another here you can see gender has a three option that is male female and others and there is an input tag that is radio in the front of all the options now let's try to click on the options let's say i click here and here and here now you can see i'm able to click on all the options but i don't want this because user will select only one option from uh, from the given inputs so we can use a name attribute inside the input tag so we have to type name name then let's say gender the name property used as it is in three of the input tags is this and this so type name now let's try to click on the options that are given here when i click on the first option and second and third here you will notice that when i click on the another option the first automatically remove so the user is able to click on only one option at a time then we have another type of input tag that is the submit button let's try to input a submit button let's say use that we use the br tag br then hit enter br then hit enter let's type input and hit enter in the place of text we have to type the submit here you can see there is a submit button whenever i click on the submit button that collected data is sent to the server let's try to use that name email password number and mail now let's try to submit the data then hit on the submit button here you can see there is an error here we include the at the rate in the email address it means we have used the input type tag that is email so the form is not submitting so we have to type the email format that is at the rate gmail.com okay now let's try to submit here you can see the data is submitted but it is not sent to the server because we are not connected any server here in the form tag there is an action attribute that specify the php page where the data is submitted here you can see the data is submitted here but we don't have any php page so data is not sent so this is the basic information of the html form i hope you are able to understand if you have any kind of doubt you can ask me in the comment box okay friends this is it for now i will catch you up in the next one till then keep learning keep exploring